Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. This here is the Sopranissimo ukulele kit that I built recently. If you didn't see that, I'll link the video in the description and also over there. But um, in any case, when I got done and tuned it up, I noticed that the intonation seemed to be just a little bit off. And I couldn't quite figure that out because I was really careful when I set the bridge. In fact, if I put this here and I'm not sure how well you can see that I might have to zoom in, but it is like dead on 11. Like I nailed it. It's exactly 11 inches, which is what the documentation said. But what I didn't do, and I should have known to do, is I didn't measure the fretboard. From the nut to the 12th fret here should be on an 11 inch scale. That should be five and a half. And it's actually about five and nine sixteenths. So this is not an 11 inch scale. It's actually an 11 and an eighth inch scale. This is already glued down, so I can't move the bridge or the saddle. And normally I would just unscrew the neck here and, uh, Put a spacer like a one in one eighth of an inch spacer behind it and just push it forward and that would take care of my problem but i glued the neck in place due to these uh, this sort of hovering thing here so what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to make a custom saddle here that's gonna move it back just a little bit okay so here is the general idea of what i'm trying to do i cut this piece out of corian this is the original saddle and so you can see it's about the same height and width as the original saddle but because it's cut from this corion, it's got sort of a rounded profile. So still got some work to do, but I'm thinking if I notch this out and then this would sit in the bridge like this and it should move the contact point back slightly. Okay, so I've done a little more work here and hopefully the camera can see the general idea, but that is what I'm going to attempt. So this should just drop right into the slot there. Okay, there we go. The bridge saddle is back on. Hopefully you can see that and it's all strung up and ready to go. Um, by the way, I guess I didn't really talk about that much, but I used a Corian scrap like this and I just cut uh, that chunk out using a cutting blade on a Dremel. And then I just used a file and some sandpaper to uh, sort of smooth it out. So I guess the next thing is, let's see what this baby sounds like. Let's see if this helped. Okay, I got her tuned up, same tuning as last time. And uh, let's see how she sounds. Already better. Much, much better. Okay, that is a dramatic improvement from last time. And all we did was shift the, the saddle here, maybe about an eighth of an inch. Uh, backwards, but it made a huge difference. So if you ever come across that in your building, that is how you fix it. This ended up working really great. So I'm going to play this thing for a while. Maybe it'll show up in uh, one of my Sunday morning covers. Thanks for tuning in. If you like what I do on this channel, please hit that uh, subscribe button below. And if you like the video, I'd love it if you would give it a thumbs up.